Hi, this is Scott with Active Element. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change the squeeze tube in your peristaltic pump and the chemical lines that run to and from it. Now, this is one of the most common maintenance issues that you might encounter with your dishwasher and your chemical pumps. And I've heard people say things like, you know, my chemical pump's not working, it's not dispensing any chemicals, um, you know, maybe their dishes aren't getting cleaned, or the proper levels of sanitizer and rinse aren't getting dispensed. So when that happens, 99% of the time, there's something wrong with the squeeze tube here or the chemical lines running to and from it. All right, so first off, you just wanna test the pump to see if it's working and anything's coming out. You know, we'll prime the detergent line here. Just turn on the pump to see if anything's coming out down here. So this one seems to be working fine, but we'll go ahead and change out the squeeze tube and the lines just to show you how to do it. Okay, so first off, you just wanna change out the, uh, the chemical lines. And first, you wanna make sure you have on gloves and the proper eyewear, at the very least. So we'll start by uh, um, replace, uh, undoing this one right here. And to do that, you just uh, you push up here and then pull down. I've seen some that have uh, zip ties. So in that case, you would replace it and then zip tie it. But here, I'm just gonna press up and then just remove the line like that. And then down here, we're just gonna remove the pickup tube from the detergent pail and then remove the chemical line from the pickup tube. So now that I have my new line here, I just want to start by uh, putting into the pickup tube. So this is a, uh, a 1 8 inch inner diameter tube. And for the rinse and the sanitizer, it's actually 1 16th. But this one's 1 8 inch. We'll just insert it into the detergent pail here. Feed it through behind and then just press up into here. Make sure we got a good seal there. Some of these use zip ties, but this one just has a little quick disconnect. Now that we've replaced the inlet, we'll go ahead and remove the outlet line as well. So now we'll just go ahead and insert the new outlet chemical tubing. We'll just replace the whole line to make sure it's not, there's no clogged in there, it's pretty cheap. And we'll connect it to the, uh, the dishwasher over here. So now that you, we've replaced the, the chemical lines to the corresponding um, pump, you wanna make sure you don't switch those up. Um, this would be a nightmare if you do. Um, you wanna go ahead and uh, change out the squeeze tube. You do that by removing the cover here. then pressing down to rem remove the squeeze tube. There you go. Let's put that back in there like that. And then pull out this side. Press down the quick disconnect. And to insert the new one, you start just by making sure, inserting it in the connect here. Okay. Then what you want to do is just slowly wrap this around. And this is a squeeze tube. This is the knobs here. And you just want to do that by slowly, just kind of turning. And use the, the pump here to make sure it's tight. Okay. Great, we got a good connection here. Last, you just want to apply some tube grease here. Just kind of work it in. And this is just going to keep the material sealed in a good shape for a long time. So lastly, we want to replace the cover here like this. And then prime the pump to make sure it's working and to fill the chemical lines with chemicals, okay? So here's how you prime your pump. And what we're looking for is that the line fills with uh, product and then gets dispensed into the dishwasher. Now that you know how to change out your squeeze tubes and the chemical lines to your chemical pump on your dishwasher, 
It'd be a good idea to just include this in your um, routine preventative maintenance to keep you, your dishwasher working right. And you want to maybe do this on a frequency of uh, three months to six months, depending on you know how much you use your dishwasher. Um, hope this helped you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.